If I were starting from scratch with no tech background or technical background, here's exactly what I'd do to learn AI in 2025. And I'm talking zero programming experience, zero machine learning or AI or deep learning uh, experience or knowledge. Just someone who recognized that AI skills are becoming essential and wants to learn right away. That's all you have to be. Because most AI content assumes you already have some technical foundation or it treats beginners like they need to become data scientists. But what if you just want to understand and use AI effectively without getting a computer science degree? Well, that's exactly the path that I'm going to lay out today. Today, I'm gonna to be walking through the complete beginner's blueprint, not just what AI concepts to learn, but how to learn them step-by-step step in the right sequence so that you can actually understand and apply AI even if you've never written a line of code in your life. And you don't need some $297 masterclass, you don't need to buy some type of coaching program or certification or anything like that. And you also don't need to waste hundreds of hours and months of time watching YouTube tutorials just to figure out how to do basic stuff. Because the truth is there are literally 16 year olds that are making more money with ChatGPT than PhD students. So if I had to start over today completely from scratch, here's exactly what I'd do and I'm not gonna sugarcoat any of it. And if you appreciate me making this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it right now. All right, step one is get paid to learn AI. So the first thing I do is stop watching tutorials, right? I know, I know, that sounds crazy coming from someone making content about AI, but here's what nobody tells you. The fastest way to learn AI is to just simply get paid to use it. Real deadlines, real problems, and real consequences. That is your classroom now. And chances are, almost everybody watching this video has some sort of job. And I can guarantee you, unless your boss is an absolute moron, no offense, but unless your boss is an absolute moron, if you go to them and you're like, hey, can I figure out how to use AI to do all of these things that I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis uh, better or faster? They're gonna all say yes. Right, of course, all of them are going to tell you yes. And boom, you then get paid to use AI. And look, if you're unemployed, or if you got some flexibility in your schedule, you can also either do some projects for free, do some freelancing projects, or even just contact one of your friends or family members who owns a business and ask if you can do some free projects for them on their website or their business. And then you can implement and apply your AI knowledge, and then you can put it in a portfolio and then actually land a job where you can then get paid to do AI, right? So you can open Indeed, search for jobs that mention AI tools, even the basic ones. For instance, content creation roles where they want you to use ChatGPT for brainstorming, uh, virtual assistant gigs where you're automating scheduling with AI, customer support jobs where you're using AI to draft responses faster, social media management where you're using Claude to write captions. But I don't know how to do that stuff. Nobody does when they start, that's the point. In fact, just a couple years ago, there were literally zero AI experts. And to be honest with you, even to this day, there's probably like just a handful of true AI experts in the world because the field is so new. You can literally become an AI expert, at least compared to other people around you within a few months if you really put your mind to it, right? This isn't something like rocket science, which is ridiculously hard to learn, or physics or mathematics, which has been around for hundreds of years now. AI is basically brand new. So there are no true real experts in the world. And the best way to learn is by doing, under pressure, with real money on the line. Because a common problem I see a lot of people have is they'll passively watch these AI videos and then they don't actually implement any of it. They learn about it and it's like, wow, that's really cool, that's awesome, thanks for sharing, and then they don't actually implement it. And the implementation is where most of the learning happens. And when you do this, you're not just learning AI, you're learning how to monetize AI. That's the real skill. And the examples are everywhere. Freelance gigs where you're ghostwriting LinkedIn posts using AI, remote assistant roles where you're using AI to research and schedule, content research for YouTubers where you're using multiple AI tools to gather information, simple automation projects on Upwork. The barrier to entry is stupid low right now, but it won't be forever. All right, quick break. This Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time, I'm doing a one-time only workshop where I talk about the AI content advantage for leads and sales. And this is where I'm gonna show you exactly how I got this plaque right here and how how I've made a ton of money making content on social media. And you can check it out down in the description and the pinned comment below. At this workshop, I'm gonna be giving away my no-click scriptwriter GPT. And this is a tool that I've been working on for a very long time. And just by talking to it, kind of like a friend, you can make content. And you can make original content that doesn't sound like it's AI slop. So you basically talk to it for as little as 10 to 30 seconds and it will give you a great script 
that you can use for any kind of content, including YouTube. And this is a GPT powered piece of software that I've been working on and it's been trained on thousands of hours of my teaching, my scripts, my coaching, my videos, my students' videos, and more. And I'm giving it away for this one time only at the workshop. So make sure you show up, click the link in the description in the pinned comment below. If you don't show up to the workshop, you will never be able to get it again. And when you're done registering, make sure you click on the add this to your calendar button. So it'll show up in your Google, Apple, or Outlook calendar. So you can make sure that you won't miss the chance to grab the no click script writer GPT. I'm going to be showing you this new opportunity. It's completely free and it's amazing whether you basically want to use it to get a better job, use it to network, use it to make some passive income, start a side hustle, make a full time income, or even start a full on business. It works incredibly well with all of those and it's completely free. And you'll also be able to ask me questions live. So I look forward to meeting you. See you Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Whoops. All right, step two is master AI by solving your own problems. So in your free time, when you're not working, start using it to fix your actual life because most businesses are started by literally just solving problems that other people have. So think about your day-to-day -day life and just think, what problems do I have that AI could solve? And some of them you might be solving in your job, but a lot of them you're probably solving outside of your job as well. So for instance, you could use AI to write better emails. You could use it to plan your week. You could use it to generate meal plans. You could use it to write scripts for difficult conversations and ask yourself, how can I use AI to, for instance, save five hours this week? Then go and do it. Because here's the thing, when you solve your own problems with AI, you start seeing patterns, right? When you're solving problems at work and you're solving your own problems with AI, patterns emerge. And you realize that most business problems are just personal problems at scale. Another way of looking at this is most business problems are just personal problems that manifest themselves in your business. So for instance, if you can't write good emails, neither can most companies. If you're bad at planning, so are most teams. If you struggle with research, welcome to every marketing department ever. The more personal problems you solve, the more marketable you become because you're not chasing shiny new tools anymore. You're building your own AI use case portfolio. And I literally mean that. You're building a portfolio from the stuff you do at work and from the stuff that you do on your own, you're building a portfolio. And then in a new age where there's no AI degrees out there, that portfolio is everything and it's what gets you hired. It's not some certificate, it's not a college degree, it's not some course completion badge, it's real problems that you've actually solved and documented. Now comes the fun part, step three build a side hustle that uses AI. But Shane, what if I don't have time for a full-time job? Well, then you force yourself to learn by building something. And here's what I mean. Start a business that literally cannot succeed unless you get good at AI. For instance, try Amazon KDP. Write niche books using AI and publish them on Kindle. Or a really good business opportunity is literally just take all of the amazing written content that's out there and turn it into visual content, AKA videos. So you could create a YouTube channel where AI does almost all of the work. Use it to write the scripts, generate thumbnails, brainstorm topics, et cetera, et cetera. And you'll learn because you have to. And by the way, if you wanna learn how to literally just take information that's already out there and turn it into YouTube videos, which is what most people prefer to consume information with, then I actually have a free live training at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And during this live training, I'm going to be giving away a one-time offer. That's going to be a GPT that we specially made to make this incredibly easy for you. So click the link in the description and the pinned comment below to check that out. Don't miss out on it. It'll be the only time I do this live training and it'll be the only time I give away this free one-time offer. And it's all completely free. So click the link, sign up for it, and make sure you put it in your calendar so you don't miss it. And if you wanna see an example of one of my clients who actually has done this, who heavily utilizes AI in his business, it's Sean. He makes Amazon KDP content on YouTube and he utilizes AI as a helper to make his Amazon KDP books and also to make his YouTube videos. So how to train your golden retriever or keto meal prep for busy moms. And you don't just have to write books. You could do digital products, PDF, templates, workbooks, short courses, quizzes, et cetera, et cetera, right? And it, you can go on and on from there. Templates generated with AI, Notion templates, email sequences, social media content calendars. The product forces you to understand what AI can and cannot do. And you learn by doing, and you earn by publishing. That's the loop that matters. And I see too many people studying AI like it's this abstract concept. It's not, it's a tool and tools are meant to build things. So build something, 
anything. And speaking of building, this brings us to step four, which is build in public, AKA document the journey. And this part is crucial and most people skip it. Document everything you do. It doesn't take very long to make a tweet or post on TikTok or make a really short YouTube video just explaining what you're doing in your side hustle. So for instance, you could literally post on TikTok or YouTube shorts day one of learning AI with zero experience. And LinkedIn, I used AI to write a children's book. Here's what happened. YouTube, I made $50 writing with ChatGPT on Fiverr. Here's exactly how. But you might be thinking, but what if I look stupid? Good, that's the point. People don't want to always follow experts. They want to follow journeys. They wanna see you mess up, see you figure it out, and see you get better. And it's way more interesting than watching someone who already knows everything. Plus, here's the secret. Teaching forces you to learn faster. When you know you have to explain something tomorrow, you pay attention differently today. You take better notes, you ask better questions, and you actually remember stuff. And the audience you build while learning, they become your first customers when you start selling. And I wish I'd started documenting my AI journey from day one. Instead, I kind of learned in private and the audience building happened separately. Don't make that mistake. It is an amazing opportunity to simply build in public. Oh, and if you need help with content creation, specifically content creation utilizing AI, again, attend the live training down in the description and the pinned comment below. You'll get to literally ask me questions directly. We'll be in the same Zoom call together. It'll be super fun. Step five is to double down on what works. After 30 to 60 days of this, you're gonna have data, real data about what's actually working. Not what some guru told you would work, what's actually working for you. So audit everything. What gave you the most learning? What made you the most money? What was actually fun to do? Because here's the truth, you can learn any skill if you stick with it for long enough, but you'll only stick with stuff that doesn't make you miserable. So maybe you discover you're really good at using AI for content creation, or maybe you discover you're really good at using AI for data analysis, or maybe you're a wizard at AI powered research or automation or customer service. Whatever it is, go deeper. Don't try to be good at everything. Be excellent at one thing and stack that AI skill with soft skills that matter, like writing, research, communication, project management, leadership, et cetera. And that combination, that's what makes you irreplaceable. Now, just as an example, guys, and I'm not saying this as a way to humble brag, but I didn't realize that I was kind of decent at math until I had a bunch of other people just tell me that I'm pretty good at it, right? I would kind of just do statistics and kind of like break down things in my funnel, for instance, like whenever I'm selling something, I look at the conversions at each step. It's like, oh, how many people clicked on the link from the video? And then out of the people that landed on the page, how many people you know, put their email in on the page. And like, I would just track all this stuff and it seems really simple to me, but a lot of other people seem to have a lot of issues with it, right? So this is where I kind of realized that I'm somewhat naturally talented at that. Step six, teach, package, and monetize. This is where you flip the script. Instead of consuming content about AI, you start creating it. So turn everything you've learned into a YouTube tutorial showing exactly how you made money with AI, even if it's just $50 or even just making your first dollar. That's much more relatable than people that are making like $300,000 a month or a Notion template of your AI workflows or a mini course teaching your specific process or a Fiverr gig offering the service you've mastered or a PDF guide that solves the problem that you used to have. But I'm not an expert yet. You don't need to be an expert. You just need to be one chapter ahead of someone else. And the person who learned AI last month can teach the person starting today. And they'll probably explain it better than the PhDs who have been doing this for years because they remember what it was like to not know anything. Now look, here's the bottom line. Don't learn AI the traditional way. The traditional way is broken. It's designed to keep you consuming, not creating. It's designed to make you feel like you need more information before you can start. You don't. Get paid to learn it. Use jobs, projects, side hustles as your classroom and let the real world be your curriculum. Let real problems with real deadlines teach you what actually matters. Because at the end of the day, nobody cares how much you know about AI. They care about what you can do with it. So go do something cool and then share it. Share it with the world today, not tomorrow, not next week, not after you finish that course that you've been putting off today. And by the way, when you share these things with the world, when you create a YouTube channel or you, know, you start posting on Twitter about these things, you're gonna build an audience of people. And especially if you do it in a specific niche, you're gonna have tons of people reaching out to you to hire you. This is exactly what happened with Josh who started posting on YouTube. Now he wasn't posting about AI stuff, he posted about IT related stuff, but he was able to get his dream job and two different job offers from Fang companies because of his YouTube channel all because he just started documenting and building in public. And this is exactly what I teach people how to do. So whether you're interested in just getting a better job, starting a side hustle to make a couple extra thousand dollars a month, starting a full-time business, or if you already have a business and you wanna scale it
it to another level. I've worked with all those different types of people on YouTube and you should definitely attend the live training. And if you wanna skip the line, you can also just go ahead and apply for a call down in the description and the pinned comment below to work with us directly. We have a program called Content Growth Engine where we've helped over 20 people get to seven and eight figures a year on YouTube. And you can see a bunch of the stories by clicking the link in the description and the pinned comment below and then booking a call. And if you wanna see one of the stories, my client, Sean, who I mentioned earlier, who we help scale from 30K per month all the way to over 500K per month, I did an interview with him and you can check that out by clicking right here.